Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to look at how to make sure your saddle is safe for you to ride in. This is a check you should do regularly on your saddle. And why? To make sure your saddle is safe to ride in, of course. So sit back, make yourself a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. My name is Poppy Weber. I'm a qualified saddle fitter for the Society of Master Saddlers and I'm based in the UK. And I do regular videos about saddles, saddle fittings and things like that. I also do a live monthly video where people can join in and ask me as many questions as you like. Let's get on with today's video. How to make sure your saddle is safe for you to ride in. We should all be responsible for our own tack. Yes, we get our saddles fitted every six months and yes, our saddle fitter should also check these things, but you are responsible for your own tack and you need to make sure that your saddle is safe every time you sit your little ass in it. What do we need to look at to make sure the saddle is safe? We need to check that the stitching isn't worn, we need to check that our stirrup bars are attached, we need to check the tree is sound. All of those things should be checked, I think firstly, at least monthly on your saddle. Because this really is a matter of life and death at times. People have died from things snapping on their saddles that shouldn't have snapped because they've not been looked after correctly. So this is a really important video to watch. So don't think, oh, boring, safety, I want to hear all about maggots and trees scroll back a few videos for that this is important this is about keeping you safe and keeping you alive and it's going to be a super quick video so it's not going to take a lot of time and it literally will take you five minutes once a month just to check that you're safe so where do we start well i'm going to have to move the camera because we need to be looking at the saddle here one of the really important things to look at is your stirrup leathers so the best way to do this is to take them off. On your stirrup leathers, there is a buckle and there is stitching and there are holes. Now all of those things can wear. Your buckle can get damaged and sometimes you see them when the buckle is like the little pin of the buckle here is too short and gets stuck on the bar or sometimes the buckle itself is damaged and the little pin gets bent. There is stitching around the buckle. See the stitching here? And then there's holes. So there are three things. Oh, and then there's the overall condition of the stirrup, as, of the leather as well. So there are the four things we need to check on your stirrup leather. You need to check your holes are all intact and none of them are split. So they're not split at all at, that, at the holes, you see? You don't want split holes because split holes means a weak hole and it means it's going to snap at some point. You want to check that your buckle does up properly. It moves backwards and forwards with ease. And it does up snugly like that without pulling the pin through. You want to check that your stitching around your stirrup leather is intact. You don't want worn or frayed and you don't want the bottom of it here to be lifting up. See that's nice and intact. And then you look for the overall condition of your stirrup leather has to be in good condition. So they wear the most in two places. Number one, where the stirrup hangs. So check here, check that's not broken or damaged. And then up here where they sit in the stirrup bar. So check in here, that they're not damaged in there. So do the same for both stirrup leathers. And then that's your stirrup leathers, check, done. I know I've talked a lot through that, so it's taken me a few more seconds than it would have done normally, but that's literally a 15 second job. 15 seconds, 15 seconds a month might save your head from being smooshed on, <laughs> I won't say that. 15 seconds a month might save your life, literally. I'm not even exaggerating. I know I am a drama queen, but this is not a case of drama queen-itis, this is true. It could save your life. So after you've checked your stirrup leathers, you're going to check your stirrup bar. So this is a stirrup bar. Hmm. This is your stirrup bar. Now this is not a very good example because this is a, what's called a hook bar. So I'm gonna get, um, there we go, that's handy. It's a tree here. So this is a tree with a stirrup bar on it. So I can show you, this is a stirrup bar. So you know these little ends here that everyone think of the whole their stirrup leathers on. See that? That should never, ever be in that position. That should always be in that position. The little lock was invented for 
like hunting and things like that, when people jump over massive things and their legs fly backwards and it can pull your stirrup leather off, but do not use them ever. Um, they are not safe because you do want your stirrup leather to come off. That's the whole point of having stirrup bars because you want your stirrup to come off in case of an emergency. So keep that down at all times, unless your saddle fitter has specifically said that you can put it up, keep it down, it's safer. Because you want your stirrup leather to slide off there in case of an emergency. Now you don't want to slide off every time you rise and trot, you don't want to slide off every time you go over a fence. If your stirrup leather slides off too easily, then ask your saddle fitter to slightly tighten your stirrup bars for you. It's something we can do really easily, um, so ask someone to do that for you. But you don't want it sliding off. Equally, you don't want it to be so tight that you can't get the stirrup leather off. While we're looking at the stirrup bars, you're going to check that your, girth, that your stirrup leather slides in to there easily enough that you can be sure that if in the case of an extreme emergency, it would be able to come off. Yeah, so check that. Whilst you're also here, hook your finger behind your stirrup bar and pull and wiggle. There should be no movement in your stirrup bar. And that is because your stirrup bars should be riveted on to the tree in a really solid way. That shouldn't move, that doesn't. No movement at all. That's solid because it's riveted on safely. So as soon as one of those rivet comes loose, your stirrup bar would wiggle. And as soon as your stirrup bar wiggles, you're in trouble. Again, that takes five seconds, could save your life. You've checked your stirrup leathers, you've wiggled your stirrup bar, you've checked your stirrups come on and off easily. Now we're gonna move on to another leather strap, which is very important to check. And that is your girth straps. These are your girth straps. This saddle is an oddity. It's got extra girth straps. Let's ignore them for now. So on every girth strap, you're going to check them for signs of wear. So similarly to the stirrup leathers, they've all got holes in. You want to check that the holes are intact. They're not cracked. On all of your stirrup leathers. They're allowed to be a little bit creased because leather can crease. They're not allowed to be cracked or split. And when you do your girth up, get the rollers because you should have a girth with a roller on if you haven't got a rollers on your girth please get in your girth and it ruins your straps so your rollers should run up there nice and easily because they're not lumpy bumpy and cracked so check them and then you're going to check the stitching at the top so flip your girth straps up and look at your stitching underneath here you're looking here at the stitching you want to make sure the stitching is intact and not frayed you want to be able to get a hold of your stirrup leather and pull it here and check it's not coming away at the top at all and check the back and check it's not coming away at the back at all. All your stitching is firmly intact because you don't want your girth strap coming away at the top. Girth straps are made of leather because they are designed to snap again under extreme emergencies. We don't want it to fall off willy nilly. Willy nilly. So do that on all of your girth straps. You're checking the holes are okay, there's no splits, and then you're checking the stitching at the top of all of them. So now you've checked your stirrup leathers. You've checked that they're safe, you've checked that they're stitched properly, and you've checked your stirrup bars to check that they're attached to the tree correctly. Like that. And you've also checked your girth strap. And there are three things that you can check on your saddle in a matter of seconds that can literally save your life. Again, I am a drama queen. This is not drama queenitis. I am here currently helping you save your own life. You have to take responsibility for your own tack. And it's all very well thinking that oh, your tack gets checked at Pony Club or your saddle fitter checks your tack every six months. You really need to be on top of this and to know when to spot problems because it really can be very dangerous. So what other things can we check? Well, we can check the tree because the tree is like this. This is the tree. It's the inside, like the skeleton of your saddle. So there's one of these, not this exact one, but similar, inside that saddle there. And so when we're checking the tree, what we're checking for is you'll see your saddle fitter doing that at the front of your saddle and then checking to see if this big strong metal bar here is broken and you think how on earth can that break it's a massive big hunky chunky hunk a chunk of a metal bar i promise you they can break and um, in the same way that the bars that go into like the thoroughbreds and the wintech saddles those metal bars can break under extreme pressure metal can snap the other thing that can happen to trees is these little rivets can come loose now this tree is an exceptionally well riveted tree one, two, three, four, five, a billion zell. 
bazillion rivets in here. Some trees only have like four. Um, so when a rivet goes loose, it can make a little bit of movement at the front of the saddle here, which is what your saddle fitter is testing for when they test it. You'll also sometimes see them testing it this way to see if there's any, any movement that way. And that again is to check the tree. So they're just checking it hasn't broken down through here in the tree. Your saddle fitter will also want to check your panels and check that your panels are even. This is also something that you can do yourself, just with your naked eye. You can have a look down. Hang on, let me move the camera. Can you see that? Oh, I you can't see that. So you can have a look and you can look straight on at your saddle. Then you can look down your saddle. Does everything look quite even? Look from the back. Does everything look quite even? Look down the seat and see if everything looks quite even there. Now, one thing that um, non-saddlers and uh, non-saddle fitters um, get muddled up with is sometimes there's a little stitch on the back of the saddle here and sometimes you get a little stitch on the back of the cantle as well and that is a stitch and it's only cosmetic so sometimes that stitch is slightly off centre and that can really throw people's eyes so people can look at that stitch say the stitch here was four millimetres to the left it would make the whole seat look like it had moved over but it's not a seat or a tree or a panel or anything issue it's just literally the stitch line and it's only cosmetic so if you are looking down here and your eye gets thrown, try covering up that little stitch area and then your eye doesn't get thrown quite so much. If you're in any doubt about the safety of your saddle or the wonkiness of your panels or the straightness of your tree or whether your rivets have fallen out of your saddle, then what you're going to do, you're going to get your saddle fitter again. www.mastersaddles.co.uk Go on the search function, search your saddle fitter, search for your area and that there is a list of all the registered and qualified saddle fitters in your area. I hope that really quick video helped save your life. Actually, I hope it doesn't help save your life. I hope it helps you learn how to look after yourself and that you don't ever need to know any of it really because your tack is so well looked after. So remember to check your saddle every month or every time you clean it, whatever is the soonest. Please don't forget to comment um, below and ask me as many questions as you can, um, preferably about saddles or saddle fitting because I'm not really very knowledgeable in other areas. Quite good at the colour pink. Um, was quite good at maths. I've got a psychology degree, if that helps. But on the whole, I'm only really good at answering questions about saddles and saddle fitting. So fire away at me, ask me as many as you can. Please also subscribe, it means tons to me if you do. And if you pop, press the notification bell, it'll give you a notification thing somehow um, every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again for these last few minutes. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. So hope you all have a lovely weekend. Take care. Lots of love.